an unlikely parasite, the mistletoe, by Reedworks. During the holidays, many people hang mistletoes over doorways. People share kisses under this evergreen plant. It is a popular Christmas tradition. But don't let the image of a romantic plant used during the happy times of the holidays fool you. In the forests where they're from, mistletoes can do some real damage. Let's take a look at how and why. The mistletoe plant is evergreen. This means it has leaves that remain green throughout the year. It is also poisonous and has white berries and small yellow flowers. The mistletoe lives on other plants, taking water and nutrients from these plants. For this reason, mistletoes are considered parasites. The white berries of the mistletoes contain seeds. Some birds and mammals like to feed on these berries. When they do, the seeds may attach to the animal eating the berries. The animal may carry the seeds to another part of the tree or shrub. They may also carry the seeds to another plant altogether. The seeds start to grow roots that dig through the bark of the tree or shrub. The roots grow into the tissues of the plant they've taken over. That's how mistletoes take nutrients and water away from the host plants. Mistletoe can be hard to remove once it infects a plant. The best way to fight off a mistletoe infestation is to cut off the infected branch completely. If the mistletoe takes over more parts of the plant, it can start to weaken the plant and make it harder for it to grow. As mistletoes grow in the trees, they become a thick mix of branches and stems. This big mass is sometimes called a witch's broom. Some animals nest in these witch's brooms. These animals include chickadees, house wrens, and most coopers' hawks.